As an off-roader, at some point or another, you're going to need a durable winch. And probably some accessories to go along with that to get you out of any sticky situation. We'll look no further than the worn Xeon Platinum winch and accessory bag. Stay tuned to learn more. All right, so next on deck we have the worn Platinum Xeon winch. This winch itself really raises the gold standard in winches altogether, and it really sets you apart from other guys on the trail. The Xeon Platinum features an all new high speed motor, stronger gears, and a heat treated ring gear that delivers 20% faster line speed, best in class efficiency, and their highest durability rating. The new advanced wireless remote gives you total control in the palm of your hand, allowing you to control the winch and up the two accessories. This advanced remote provides the operator feedback on vehicle battery charge and winch motor temperature. It controls operation of the remote clutch and more. It also includes a USB charging cable and car charger adapter. The large diameter aluminum winch drum with a steel sleeve is strong, lightweight, reduces rope wear, and has an integrated rope anchor for easy rope installation. And the extreme waterproofing meets rigorous IP68 standards, the highest rating in the worn truck and SUV winch lineup. The convertible control pack can be attached to the winch and remotely mounted, allowing for various winch mounting options and looks. The required relocation kit is sold separately. The winch itself includes 100 feet of the 3 8 inch worn Spidura synthetic rope. The rope has a temperature resistant sleeve on the first layer, a ballistic nylon sleeve for abrasion resistance, and a polished aluminum Hawes Fair lead. All right, so we have the worn Xeon 10S Platinum installed now, and as you can see, this is a perfect complement to this bumper. It looks great, fits great, and it was a super easy installation. It took us about one hour to get everything in and place and installed. So just to give you a kind of a heads up, it took us four bolts to bolt it to the bumper, so only four, and then two bolts for the fair lead. So really this was a super quick, simple installation that took us, like I said, about one hour to do. Uh, there are only two wires to the winch, and that's gonna be your power and your ground. So you're gonna have both of those, and then we actually have accessory wires here as well, which power our accessory lights. So these are standard two pin trailer connectors. So they're gonna be something you've probably seen before. And they connect right up to our lights here. And it really is a really cool added benefit that they've wired these two lights or any, any accessory lights that you may have right to the winch. So, and this is kind of, I was kind of giving you a precursor to what's gonna come now, but we have a wireless remote. So all of this can be controlled by one remote. So your two lights, and your winch itself, all by one easy to use wireless remote. Let me show you how this works. So let's just go ahead and power it on. Okay, so right from the, right from the gate, you have either your winch controls, you have your light controls, settings, and power. So basically, let me just go ahead and show you the light controls, and we'll show you the winch in a moment. But you can either control them independently of one another, so you can control one at a time, just like that, or both at the same time. So depending on what your needs are, they have it built in right here at this really simple to use interface. And let me go back now to the winch itself. And you also have, uh, first of all, before you get anything started with the winch, you have to let it know that you are a human, you're doing this on purpose. So holding these two buttons for three seconds. And now you have full control over your winch and as well as your lights as well. Not as much control, uh, so you, have, you can control them independently from here, but not at the same time. So that's okay. Um, that's still a really good benefit. But from this, from this screen itself, I can de-spool. So I can set it to do that. So I can free, uh, free spool my winch line. I can pull it right out with my hand. That easy right from this screen. Now let's engage it again and then pull some of the lead out. So I'm gonna do push this button. And I can do this from here or I can do this from all the way on the other side of this building, this is still gonna work just like it's meant to. So I have full control over my lights and my winch for more and easy to use wireless remote. Just a great benefit added by Warren. All right, so I did wanna show you that this still works with this wireless remote. Even when I'm not right at the Jeep, I can be several yards away, doesn't matter. I still have full control over my accessory lights, one at a time independently or at the same time, doesn't matter. I have that control. And I also have control over my winch as well. So as you can see there, I have complete control over the winch controls as well as the lights from an, from an alternate location than my Jeep. So if I need lighting down on a hill somewhere, wherever I'm at, I can have that access easily in a wireless format. 
All right, so you've got your new one winch installed and you're looking for maybe a kit to go with that to make it work a little bit better for you. Well, look no further. Uh, Warren has actually produced a medium duty uh, accessory kit just for that case. So first, of all, uh, first up, let's go over the bag. The bag itself is very heavy duty. It's a very heavy weight bag. And what I mean by that is it's very, very sturdy and it's gonna hold up to any abuse or the elements that you put it through on the trail, any, whatever the case may be. You're not gonna have to worry about how it's gonna hold up. It's gonna hold up great through wherever you take it. So let's take a look inside and see what it comes with. All right, so, all right, first up, we have a set of winching gloves here. Now guys, I can't stress it enough. Uh, your winch cable will fray a little bit. They're called barbs. Now, if you get your hand on those barbs, it can really cut them up quite a bit. So better, better safe than sorry, get you a set of gloves, protect your hands, keep them safe. You don't want any cuts, any open wounds out on the trail especially. Keep yourself safe, use a set of gloves. They're included in the kit, so really, it's a no brainer. Just make use of those, save your hands. All right, next up we have a snatch block here. Now the snatch block, there's gonna be instructions in your manual that you can look through to see exactly how you can make this work best for you. But this will really give your winch a little more pulling power and you can change pulling directions very easily without fraying your rope, without fraying your cable, whatever the case may be. It keeps those nice and safe. So really read up on your instructions and see how you can make this use, uh, make this work in your application. Okay, next up we have a, a tree saver or a tree trunk protector. Um, this is really what it, what it says, what the, what the name of it implies. Uh, you're going to be able to tie this around or loop this around a tree trunk and it's going to give your uh, winch a few more anchor points to pull from. So it's going to give it an even pressure along the tree trunk. So rather than damaging the tree, especially if it's a live tree, you can protect it and keep it alive and make sure that it's going to keep living and that you're not going to do any damage to the trunk itself. So that's what that's going to be for. All right, next up we have a, a recovery strap. So one thing to note about the recovery strap, guys, this is gonna be something, you're gonna need to read up on this, see how you can make it work for you, but this isn't gonna be something that you're gonna use in a traditional winching application, but instead, this is really gonna be used to snatch those guys out of the mud. It's designed to flex a little bit. So it's gonna be like uh, almost a rubber band-like effect. So it really is gonna help those guys get out of the mud uh, from, your, from your Jeep or for your truck, whatever you're pulling from. But guys, if you try to use this in a traditional winching application, if your rigging fails, like I said, this will snap, or it could snap, and act like a rubber band and really hurt somebody. So really, read up on this, see how you can make it work for you, but really just be wary in how, how you choose to use this. And it looks like last but not least, we have a couple of D-clamps here. Now the D-clamps, now let me just show you how they work. Uh, right out of the gate, these are a, this is a threaded pin, so very, very heavy duty, very, very sturdy D-clamp here. You can take that right out, feed your loop through there, put it back in. Basically, this allows you to um, create a, a link between any of the ends of loops that you have, uh, the end of the, your loop cables, anything like that. Allows you to connect those together. This works with your snatch blocks, uh, loop cables, whatever the case may be. That's what this is gonna be for. And this is a very, very sturdy piece. I don't see it failing anytime soon. So guys, with all that said, with all this stuff on the table, you can just see the value that is inside of this bag. I mean, there is tons of stuff here that you can really make your winch work even, even better for you. So take all that into account. A great, great kit from Warren. Uh, the bag itself, if you look inside, there's even more space, more uh, compartments. You can put any other kind of gear you have uh, that you may need to fit somewhere. So not only can you use your bag for these accessories, but for other accessories as well. Just a great piece great quality materials here from Warren. It's just something we've come to expect from the Warren brand.